Um, I think we may have something being done here, so just waiting. Um, Frank, yes? Yes? Okay, let's go to Andrew Kopp is heading to the New York Rangers from the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, we had discussed that possibility or hinted at that possibility uh, over the last uh, little bit here. But uh, waiting on the return, um, New York Rangers, Andrew Kopp. Here we go. Thank you very much, Frank. The second name, number two on our trade bay board or trade targets board, he is off. Flurry, then Cop, both belt, Nick Letty, he gone, Ricard Raquel, Max Domi. We will wait and see what happens. Um, if we have Pete, let's go right back to Pete here. And we were just talking about the New York Rangers, and uh looks like they got it done. Andrew Cop is going to the big apple MSG. Pete, the, to me, this feels like kind of a perfect fit. Yeah, it's a guy who can give them some versatility, can play, uh, you know, up and down the lineup. But I think that, you know, he's a guy that they've sort of been looking for. And, uh, you know, I, I think that they it, he makes them a much better team, tougher team to play against heading uh, heading down the stretch. So, again, one of those players that they kind of can can plug in and out and it gives them a little bit of flexibility and, and sort of a commodity at this point in time. We'll see what the return ends up being here. Just looking over the picks that the Rangers have. They do still own their first rounder this year and next year. They actually own St. Louis's second rounder this year as well as their own. So New York has a handful of picks that they could choose from here. Um, when you look at the uh, when you look at that metropolitan division now, the Rangers have gone out. They get Braun. They get Cop now. Have they done enough, in your opinion, to close the gap between them and the Carolina Hurricanes, who have been kind of sitting still? I don't know if they, they close the gap that uh, you know that existed there. I think that we all know the Rangers are a team that uh, have been carried by Igor's performance for most of this yeah. year, and they've had their holes. I just think that the you know the mo for them was to close the gap between uh, where they are in the standings and where they should be in the standings. If you know if if that makes sense, I think that this team has been closer to a pretender than a real contender so far. But now they've gone out, added a few pieces that can help them, uh, you know, win some games if Igor is not having his best night or if he's having an off night. So uh, the Rangers absolutely needed to bridge the gap between pretender and contender. And I think that they've done, uh, you know, they haven't done a spectacular job, but I think they've gotten better and that's been uh, a, a step for them. 